Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. So as you can see, I've got a long, thin canvas and I'm using up the remaining paints from my metallic series. I've been doing various creations over the last couple of weeks where I've used a metallic colour palette and I've done four or five different techniques. So today I'm just going to use all the colours up but I'm also adding two new colours. I'm adding a violet and I'm adding a blue. I'm going to puddle pour those on the canvas. I'm going to have a little bit of fun. I'm going to use up all my metallic colours and I'm really excited to see how it's going to turn out. So let's see what we can create. So here we go. Here are all the colours. This is a gorgeous, brilliant blue by Amsterdam. I've also got a violet by Amsterdam. So the, um, violet light. And then I've got all my metallic colours that I've been using. I've got a copper, a gold, a silver, a rose gold and a bronze. I've got a little bit of the black and white. And I'm literally just going to use all of these paints to do a puddle pour on this long canvas. So let's go. So for this creation, I'm literally taking one colour at a time and puddle pouring the paint onto the canvas. I'm going to do this slowly in terms of enjoying the process, being in the present moment of the here and now, and just enjoying that creation process from start to finish. Check out my face. <laughs> Look at the concentration on my face. But you know what? I wanted to keep this in because this is me really just enjoying being in that moment of now and taking each colour, puddling the colours on the canvas and enjoying each step of the process. You'll notice that I'm placing the paint in the middle of the canvas and that's because I've got the volume in the middle and when I tilt out it will be enough paint to push across the canvas and down the edges. So you can see here how I've layered my paint on the canvas itself. So we're going to take a marble and I'm literally placing a marble on the canvas, picking the canvas up I'm literally moving the marble from one area to another by tilting the canvas. The marble will slowly move from one puddle to another, from one colour to another colour. But the marble itself is dragging the colours into other colours and forming lines. And that's one thing that I really love about using a marble. It can create really interesting lines and patterns and when we go to stretch those out, they really come into their own. And with this part of the process, don't forget to take some time to look at the colours that are infusing together and the lines that the marble is creating from going one colour to another. And just don't rush the process. That's, that's kind of my main advice for this part. Just enjoy that marble and the tilting from one side to another. And of course, when you think you've got enough lines on your canvas, then just allow the marble to fall off of the canvas and down the side and onto your table. Take a step back and have a look at the pattern that you've created. I'm just using my torch to get rid of the air bubbles. When I mix my paint up, there are always air bubbles within the mixture. So the torch itself pops those air bubbles. 
and you can see here with the close-up of all those lines and patterns that have been created by paddling the paint on the canvas and tilting the canvas with the marble, allowing it to travel and move across the canvas from area to area, dragging all the different paints into one, infusing those colours. Now this is about ensuring that the paint that we've already got on our canvas is stretched out across the full surface area. We want to cover our canvas now with this paint. So just take your time and tilt from one side to the other, covering the canvas and watching the pattern transform as you tilt from side to side. I'm really happy with the composition of this piece. So I'm just going to clean up my edges and I'll show you a close up of the wet version.
So this piece is now fully dry and I'd love to show you a close up of the dry version. You can see here how all those colours have dried. There's different shapes and different patterns on the surface. There's block colour and lines that were created by the marble. And you can see here there's some really interesting details across this piece where the colours have infused together and where the marble has dragged one colour into another. And I really love the tones that have been created with this piece. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're well and I hope you're having a great week. Let me know what you think about this piece in the comments below and let me know if you're also going to try something similar. And what colour palettes would you like me to try next? I really hope you've enjoyed this piece and I really hope I get to see you again in the next video. Until next time, take care of yourselves and I'll see you soon. Bye everyone.